What's up? I got my record in from Napalm Records via snail mail. It was released yesterday, but it arrived today, which is fine. Okay, so, I mean, I didn't get the digital version. I wanted that, but um, I don't know if the digital version is actually included on the record. Uh, I did not say that online, so if not, I will record it uh, <laughs> from the record onto my computer. Um, but came today, I got the red vinyl with the DVD. And I'm not sure why Napalm Records did not offer a Blu-ray option. Blu-ray was available, but they weren't offering Blu-ray options with the vinyl. So just settled for the DVD, see how that is. I don't know if there's a big quality difference. There could be, but it's also depending on how it was actually recorded in the movie. But I'm gonna unbox this here and uh, show you what I got from Napalm and you can see what the record looks like, the red vinyl at least. Um, I've already pulled this off once, but it's, uh, it, they got it in here pretty good. Got the shipping label. And, but the shipping label we got, uh, it, it cost a $27.99. For the Reidolized Soundtrack Limited Edition Red Gatefold 2LP plus DVD. 485 shipping, $27.99 for the vinyl, came to $32.84 total. Not bad. Here we are. Here's the front. Looks pretty cool. Exclusive and strictly limited Napalm Records mail order edition. Man, I gotta keep that sticker. Usually, uh, it's, a, it's an open gatefold, but I gotta keep that sticker. Look at, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. So I'll, I'll probably keep maybe the sleeve because I'm gonna want to open this. Usually, when it's just a two, uh, one record and it's not a, really a gatefold, I just slip the the side here and keep the plastic on here and then put my own vinyl on. But and there's the back. That's pretty cool. Soundtrack to the Crimson Idol. <laughs> Jonathan lives here still. Written and produced by Blackie Lawless. Now, I've been reading up on, on Facebook and there is a few songs, I guess, that were not re included on the original. I don't believe you got Michael's song. I don't know. I don't believe it was on there. And The Peace. The Peace, that's a new song. So let, oh, Hey Mama. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's been, I mean, I listened to this, I've been listening to this album, the original one, on my iPhone for a while. But, and this one says, Strictly Limited Edition, which is awesome. So, so let me get this, get this thing. Let's bust this open. And I know like other other guys like Nikki Six opened his 6 a.m. vinyl with a big knife. Yeah, I don't. I'm not as classy as that. I'm gonna save this plastic though. Because I like the stickers on there, so I just I don't know. I like to keep vinyl as a um, I love listening to vinyl, but I also like to keep vinyl in one piece and everything that came with it because I think just looking back on history is really, really cool because I, you know, when you find those old records in the record store and it has the original sticker from like Rose Records um, and it just has the original price on there and all that stuff, that's it, it, so cool to me. Really cool. Oh man, this feels cool. Oh, it feels really cool. Now let me open this up and I'm going to see what the... Oh look, they didn't even put the vinyl in the sleeves, or in the uh, spots. They just laid it in here, like this, which is cool. Oh yeah, 180 gram vinyl, you could feel it. So thick. Oh look at that red vinyl, look at that. It's perfect. Excellent stuff, Blackie. I can't wait to put this baby on and play it. I'd play it for you guys, but I don't want to, uh, you know, end up with copyright, blah, 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 stuff like that. So I'd rather just show it to you. I'm sure it sounds amazing on red vinyl. 
So that that's some thick stuff. And you got all the lyrics inside. All of the lyrics are inside. This is done really well, I think. It's really done nicely. Um, I was wondering, I'm like, where's the DVD? <laughs> and here it is. I was like, man, I didn't put the DVD in there, but there it is. Executive producer, Blackie Lawless. There's everything on there. Can I see? Here's the DVD. You know, I've never watched this film. I don't know. I love Wasp, but I don't know the history of the film. Um, I think there's been, like, a crappy quality version, I think, on YouTube. Maybe. I think. I don't know if that's what this is. But, uh, I'll see. Doug Blair, lead guitar vocals. Mike Duda, bass and vocals. Michael Dukey, drums, Blackie Lawless, vocals, guitars, keyboards, and narration. So this is pretty cool. And then here's all the uh, the options. I mean, there's more options on here. Those are a few things that you can get with Wasp. But this is definitely, definitely worth it. Like, man, I really can't wait to listen to this. I've heard Blackie has done an amazing job with the sound and the quality. Minus, you know, Blackie's reborn Christian now. And so he doesn't do doesn't do a lot of the old songs or a few of the old songs, I should say, which from, and then he's also edited out uh, lyrics on here from the original um, like when he calls uh, Chainsaw Charlie a cock-sucking asshole. He I, I've heard he's uh, made it in to a little monster, some, something like that, I don't know. But, no big deal. I love Blackie, I love his music, I love his voice, you know, and, I, and I'm alright with that. If, you know, he's getting older, you know, eventually you get afraid, you're going to hell, you're going to heaven, whatever, I mean, I know. I'm, I'm still young, so I'm like kind of, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not biased. But Blackie has the talent, he still has his voice, and I think this is going to sound amazing. I'm going to listen to it. Maybe I might give a small snippet sample on the record player. Maybe. And, uh, you know what? I'll do that. I'll play this a little bit snippet. Hopefully I don't get a copyright. Or maybe it'll be a quick snippet, maybe. I don't know. I'm just afraid to get a copyright, and then, you know... And then that's a mark against me on, on YouTube, so it's like you kind of got to be careful with music. and uh, I don't know how... I've never uploaded any type of Wasp music before. So I don't, I, I don't want to get... And plus, I don't want to spoil it. I mean, I don't know. But then there's samples on iTunes. There's samples on Amazon. You can listen to the samples of the album. But this is the vinyl. 180 gram. $27.99. Napalm Records. This is a limited edition. Limited. I'm going to keep that. Put that in the gatefold here. So I'm, I'm really excited to watch the DVD and, the, and listen to the record. I record my vinyl I have a vinyl recording program which I can remix everything after it plays and records through my my MacBook and then I'm able to put it on my iPhone so I'm able to keep all my vinyl records on my phone like I have all of Van Halen's recorded and it's on my phone it sounds great it sounds like it comes straight from the record I mean it, re it captures that sound or I might just buy the digital you know, because sometimes digital technology these days is, is a beautiful thing. 
but also is that nice warm vinyl sound too. So we'll see. Definitely pick this up though, if you're a Wasp fan. And Blackie, 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 if you're hearing this or you're seeing this, please do a tour in the USA. Last time I got to see you and I was debating, you know, it was one night like Blackie's coming to town. Do I want to go see it? It's cold. I think we were supposed to get snow too. I think it happened. I don't know. It was back in 2010. I think it was March, March 8th. I'm going to throw it. March 8th, 2010. Last time he was here uh, in Chicago area, Cubby Bear, Libertyville. Um, drove up there. Saw him. Great show. Phenomenal. It's now 2018. Eight years. I need a tour. I need a show. At least one more, Blackie. One more. I'll see it. Promise you I'll buy a ticket. Definitely. But I'm moving to Orlando, so come to Orlando. <laughs> Thanks. Please like, please subscribe. If you like anything, you have any questions, comments, anything like that, put them down below. I'll respond right away. I'm pretty good at responding to questions. Thanks again.